You must be the freighter Captain Vidu's expecting. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. I'm Sirena. What's a knockout like you doing in this dump? I'm here to enhance the aesthetics of Vidu's surroundings. He enjoys looking at pretty things while he works. I heard about what happened with Skavik. Can't say I'm surprised. I told Vidu not to trust that scoundrel. Vidu's putting on a brave face for me, but... I can tell he's terrified. Is it bad? Should I be worried? Leave everything to me, sweetheart. It's comforting to know a confident man like you is taking care of things. I feel safer already. I suppose I shouldn't keep you any longer. Vidu might get the wrong idea about us. If he's gonna suspect anyway. <laughs> I can see you're going to be trouble. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Farewell, Captain. Leave me alone, Bracco. If Vidu knew about this, he'd... Vidu? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogue on the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When Vidu's gone, you'll need new friends. Captain! Thank goodness. I could use your help here. Rattle down, boys. Word is, Rogan the Butcher has his eye on Serena. That's right, Bracco. You don't want to get on Rogan's bad side. He's already scoping on his future trophies, huh? Figures. It just proves Vito ain't long for this world. Let's go, guys. Thanks for stepping in, Captain. I was so frightened. I couldn't let those thugs push you around. I've never had anyone defend me before. I wish there were more men like you in this galaxy. What Bracco said was true. Rogan the Butcher will kill Vidu if those blasters don't turn up. Vidu can't protect me anymore. He's not half the man you are. Well, let's find a nice quiet spot to talk about that. I can't do that to Vidu right now. Maybe when the danger is past. I should go. Vidu's waiting for you. I won't forget your kindness, Captain. Farewell for now. Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me, your old buddy, Dino Ray? I don't think you looked this good when we met up on Hoth. Or so girly. But you couldn't be an imposter, you know your friend Dino. Of course I remember you, Dino. How long it's been. A little too long, it seems. Turns out we got a problem. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, my pretty lady friend. So I'll take you at your word and ask for my money, you understand? I thought we were close, Dino. I thought you were my very, very close friend. Yeah, I can see that. But come on, I really do need the cash if I'm going to keep your secret. Oh, come on, you're a good guy. You take a girl's last few credits? Leave her broke and wanting? Look, maybe I could let the debt slide just this once. For a friend? Dino and the Blade, you know? I like the sound of that. I like it a lot, Dino. Oh, glad to hear it. You know, we could uh, head to my room... Get cozy, talk about old times. We got a lot in common, you and me. All right. So long as I can finish my business here when we're done. I won't stop you. Come on, I'll show you a few things to really remember me by. <laughs>